hello viewers have a good day welcome to another tutorial in this tutorial we will learn how to clip multiple raster band by using any shape file uh, in QGIS using semi automatic classification plugin so you can see here this is a district or vector shape file and I want to clip multiple raster that means from the Landsat 8 satellite image I want to clip only that portion which is actually covered within this save file so go to browser and you can see at uh, this all our landsat image so i want to extend this landsat 8 and from here i want to clip only band 1 to band 7 so i want to select here band 1 then band 2 band 3 band 4 band 5 band 6 and band 7 so simply just you uh, click on your keyboard that is the control panel control uh, 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 control button and select all of these things okay and after that just drag it here after uh, using the left click or left mouse button so you can click here layer and just keep it here Alibur so this is our study area or you can say clip so if I click here and click on zoom to layer you can see here within this uh, map or landscape image so our vector layer or study area is actually located here and I want to uh, clip all of this band that means from 1 to 7 on the basis of this uh, vector layer because I want to work further work only within this study area so for that you should uh, uh, use uh, the semi-automatic class classification plugin that is SCP. So if you are beginner, so you can see here, go to plugin, click here manage and install plugin. So for that you should uh, connect with the internet. Without the net connection you are unable to update or install this. So simply uh, write here SCP. So you can see here semi-automatic classification plugin. After the selection of where you can easily see the install plugin, but you can see here upgrade plugin because I have already installed that, so I want to update this. So simply click here, and within few seconds, your uh, semi automatic classification plugin will, inst will install in your setting or in system. So close it. So after that, you can see this kind of interface, uh, no need this one for present case. So I want to remove this, okay. So you can see here when you inst uh, install this semi-automatic classification plugin, you can see this kind of interface. This is the shortcut or symbolic icon. Or you can also see here SCB plugin. So just click here, go to band set. Okay. So within this interface, you can see here this refresh button. Okay. So simply click here, and whatever uh, the band you actually open in the in your layer panel, you can see band one to band seven. All of this band actually you can see here within this single band list after refreshing this so the next step is select here so click here so you can see all the band actually selected and you can see here there, there's uh, another some kind of band actually also appear here because i actually am doing some work in previously so I, want, so I want to remove this so now it's okay so after the selection of this you just click here add band to the band set so before you want to do any kind of uh, the uh, multiple raster band this kind of work you should select this one so you should take all of this band within this the band set one so you can see here in this band set all the band one to band seven is here so after that you can see here the wavelength quick setting so click in this drop down menu and you can see here land set 8 okay click here so after the selection you can see here all the properties of the band set 8 okay so after the selection of this you should go here within this processing left portion okay so then this processing you can see here uh, this is the clip multiple raster so I want to clip all of this band on the basis of my shape file. So click here. So click multiple raster and you can see here 
use vector for clipping okay so simply click here at first and then click this refresh on so you can see here this is the vector file this is my vector file Alipurdwar so it is automatically you can see appear here so after that you just click at this run okay so after the run you should uh, assign a folder so I want to create a uh, folder so this is Alipurdwar okay then select this folder okay you can see here folder selection click here select folder so process already completed close this one you can see here within this layer panel all of these are the clip layer so what we can do what you can do just click here go below you should remove the previous one by using your shift button okay so now you can see here only the cliff raster area so if i uncheck this you can see here the band which i have already cleaved from the landsat 8 satellite image so this is the simple process by which you can easily do the multiple cliff multiple raster band from any Landsat image or lease image or any kind of image. So thank you.